Caring for Brian has taught me the true meaning of love and the strength of the human spirit. It has also taught me that as carers, we need not feel helpless. There is much we can do to help our loved ones achieve quality of life. I have found much peace in the knowledge that I made a difference and I want to bring inspiration and strength to those who are on the same journey as I have travelled. As well as writing my books, I now speak publicly about my experience and I work part time in a cancer support centre where we offer free complementary therapies and support to cancer patients and their carers. Caring for a loved one with mesothelioma can be quite overwhelming and there will be times when you wonder what you can do to help. Knowledge is power. Find out as much as you can about mesothelioma and what symptoms and pain your loved one will experience as their disease progresses. This will enable you to put things in place for them when they will be needed and also help them to make informed choices about available treatments. It is important for carers to look after themselves as well by having a good diet and if possible a rest during the day. Don't try to bottle the feelings up, talk to someone, talk to family members and friends and see a counsellor on a regular basis if you can. Writing your feelings down is also a very good way of releasing pent up emotions. During my husband's illness I wrote in my diary every day and this was by far my strongest coping tool. Sometimes in, when someone is diagnosed with mesothelioma, there are options of surgery. With pleural mesothelioma, if it is found early, lung surgery can be beneficial. Certainly I have read where people who have had lung surgery for pleural mesothelioma have had a longer survival.